Hello. In this video, we are going to answer this coding map problem from arrays one called middle three. So let's dive in. Given an array of ints of odd length, and this is the really important part, you have to watch for this because this question becomes a little ambiguous if we don't assume that it's an odd length array. Return a new array, length three contain the elements from the middle of the array. The array length will be at least three. So again, we're going to look at some of the examples. Let me see this first case. The array here is a length 5. Uh, so indexes are 0 to 4. And it returns 2, 3, 4. So there's my middle element, and then the one before it, and the one after it. Here's a second example. This has a length of 7. So we find the middle element, and the middle element is going to be the 5. And then I'm going to pull the 7 in front of it and the 3 after it. And then finally, in this example, the length is 3, the middle element is 2, and I'm going to pull the 1 and the 3. So the first step with this one um, is, is to, to build our array of length 3. Because we can see that in every situation, we are returning an array of length 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an array of ints of length 3. Now because the size of the array changes we need to actually use we need to have the program calculate the length of the array and I really like to pull out the length of the array first so that I can just kind of access it. You don't have to do this you can every time you need it you can you know access the length directly but this is actually a good technique to kind of help organize yourself and it also is an efficient technique because it's a lot faster to simply access this variable than to continually call the length from the array. So if you're doing some very large programming this can actually slow your program down over time. So let's make a second variable called the mid index and let's make sure we understand why the mid index is going to be num.length divided by 2. So if we just kind of Add some comments here. So let's imagine that we have an array, and that array holds the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the indexes here are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the length of this array is 5, as we can see, and we calculate the mid index as 5 divided by 2, which equals 2. Now the question you might have is wait. 5 divided by 2 in math class is 2.5. And that's true. But remember, 5 is, is considered an integer, and 2 is considered an integer. So what Java sees is we have a situation with an integer divided by an integer, and when Java sees this, the way it handles it, it says, well, if you're going to divide two integers, you probably want an integer as a result. So it performs integer division, which chops off decimals. It basically just chops off the decimals. So all we have to do now is we're going to say C at 0 is equal to nums at mid index minus 1, because Again, if we take a look at this case, a length of 5, the mid index is 2. So we're going to pull the element at position 1. C at 1 is nums at mid index. And C at 2 is nums at mid index plus 1. Turn C. And if it all goes to plan, it works. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a wonderful day.